Yes, the concept was first... Frederick Vine explains his discovery. A connection between those magnetic reversals and Hess's conveyor belt, which determines the speed of seafloor spreading. Oceanic crust, the seafloor is continuously being created at mid-ocean ridge crests, such as the crest of the mid-Atlantic ridge here in the South Atlantic. It is generated above an upwelling in the mantle and spreads laterally away from the crests, thereby separating, drifting the continents apart as though they were on a conveyor belt of upper mantle material. So one might represent this, therefore, by uh, a simple model such as this, illustrating the way in which the conveyor belt of oceanic crust and upper mantle material flows out from this central crack in the Earth's crust. Well, now, in 1963, uh, Drum Matthews and myself, then at Cambridge, uh, added the simple rider to this and, in effect, converted his conveyor belt of uh, oceanic crust into a tape recorder. We suggested that as new crust is formed, solidifies uh, at a ridge crest, frozen into it will be the current direction of the Earth's magnetic field, that this will be subsequently moved aside as newer material comes in. And in this way, successive avenues of crust, normally and reversely magnetized, will be built up, paralleling the ridge crest and symmetrically disposed about it. And indeed, in going back to the anomaly map, the very detailed contour map of Raff and Mason for this area of the Northeast Pacific, and after peering at it for some time, we could see that indeed there is a remarkable symmetry of the magnetic anomalies about the crest of this so-called Juan de Fuca ridge in this area, and they do indeed reproduce all the details of the reversal time scale in remarkable detail. So to summarize this then, we drew up this new Enormous that the ocean basins were young, ephemeral features that all the oceanic crust, all the deep ocean basins that we see today uh, were generated, say, within the past 200 million years of geologic time, less than 5% of the whole of geologic time. 